Hello, La Casa family. I'm Paula Webb, and I am new here joining Janine, Director of Women's Ministry, to build upon what she has begun. But I'm most excited that today is Get Connected Sunday. So if you're like me and not connected yet, this is the perfect opportunity. My husband and I just moved from Carlsbad, California. We've got five adult kids, but two of our sons live right here in the valley. The Lord has brought me to this wonderful church, brought us to this church, and we are excited to get connected. Is, is someone doing donuts in the parking lot? I think that's just Mila looking for ushers. Hey, Mila. Uh, wow, it looks like you're in a real hurry. What's going on? I am in a hurry, Connor. I'm trying to find ushers because it's looking like we're running a little bit short for this weekend. I may have to fill in. Wow, I guess it's easy to forget how much has to go into our worship service, and so much of that success comes from our awesome worship assistants. Absolutely, and we are so thankful for all of our wonderful worship assistants that are here every weekend. We know who you are, but what we want to do here is spread the wealth because we have so many wonderful people here at La Casa de Cristo. So whether you're an usher assistant, altar guild, communion assistant, or lay reader, there's a place for you here at La Casa, and it's just a win-win situation for all. You get to serve God, serve your church, make some friends, and have some fun. There's so many awesome ways to serve, and I know our videographer, for example, is looking for someone to help take pictures of our worship service each weekend. You can give him an email if that sounds interesting to you. Uh, Myla, is there a way for people to reach out to you? Absolutely. My name is Myla Clark. I'm the campus host here at La Casa, so please give me a call anytime if you have questions about worship assisting. That's so awesome. You know, I just wish that there was some sort of event going on where if anyone from the congregation wants to talk to our staff members about getting involved, getting connected, that'd be great. We welcome you on this Get Connected Sunday. Let's stand as we sing our opening hymn.
We gather in Christian community in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us take a moment of silence for reflection. Most merciful God, we confess that we are in bondage to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your holy name, amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for us, and for his sake, God forgives us all of our sins. To those who believe in Jesus Christ, he gives the power to become the children of God and bestows on us the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord and defend us, gracious Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and the peace to God's people on earth.
Let us share in our Christian faith together in the words of the Apostles' Creed as shown on the screen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified by the Holy Spirit. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of saints, the resurrection of all. Please be seated.
this time, I'd like to invite any children that are present to come join me up here, up front, and as they're coming up uh, to join me by the airplane here, uh, we also want to note if you're visiting with us today for the first time, uh, or maybe the second time, and you haven't had the opportunity to get signed up for our e-news yet, our electronic news, we'd love to have you do that and share in that together uh, today. So, here we doing? Hey guys, good to see you today. Come on up here. All right. Good to see you. All right. How are we doing today? Come on up. All right, we'll get everyone up here, make room for everyone, we're all good. All right, so we have a very, very special day today. It's called Get Connected Sunday. Now, I'm not gonna spill the beans on that because we're gonna be talking about it during our message today, Pastor Matt and I, and also at the end of the service, there's gonna be a special video, you're gonna hear more about it, but there's gonna be lots of stuff going on out there in the courtyard, lots of fun stuff for you guys. There's bounce houses, there's all sorts of things going on, and also lots of information for everyone here at the church. But we're taking a tour of the entire church in our La Casa Airlines. We're looking at everything that's going on today, but I have a question I need to ask you today. What are these? Glasses. Yeah, so these are my reading glasses. I need these sometimes to see the fine print. But what do we call it if someone can't see at all? Um, what do we call that? Yeah. Blind. Yeah, they're blind, okay, if they can't see at all. But here's the thing. If someone is blind, they may be able to understand things in other ways. Maybe they can hear or maybe they can touch. And what do we call it if someone can't hear at all? Yeah. Go ahead. Me? Yep. Me? Go ahead. Deaf. Yep, deaf. Yeah. So, you know, if we can't hear at all, though, people that can't hear, they can make that up in other ways. Maybe they can see or maybe they can touch. So here's the thing. Our bodies are made up of many parts. They're made up of many parts. Did you have a question? Yeah, because actually there was somebody um, actually couldn't talk at my at, um, um she couldn't talk. She talked with her hands. Yeah. Because she, she, but I made, I almost, but this means I want to hug. Oh, very good. That's sign language. You're right. Yeah. All right. Let's give him a hand. Great job. All right. So, yeah. So, and you know, that just goes to prove the point this morning that we all have a body that's made up of many parts and maybe some of the parts aren't working so well, but the other parts make up for it. And that's kind of the way it is in the church. We are what we call the body of Christ. And so if one person's sad or they're upset, we help them out. If they're happy, we can be happy with them. And that's what we're celebrating today. We're a church, we're one body, but we have many parts. So let's pray together. Lord, we are grateful that we are your church, and we are so grateful that you give us the gift of La Casa de Cristo. Help us to celebrate today as we have fun outside and learn more about your church. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys and gals for coming up. Appreciate you. As they head back to their seats, let's move out of our seats and share a new face and greet a new face this morning. Share God's peace.
as found on page 764 of the Pew Bible, the Holy Gospel according to John, the 15th chapter. I am the true vine, and my Father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. For every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me, and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he is like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire and burned. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be given to you. This is to my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated.
LCDC 2023 B46 ready for push. LCDC 2023 taxiing to Echo 23. Starting checklist hydraulic. Check. Comms. Check. Reset alternate. Check. Section override. Check. Takeoff dead end speed set 38, 4, 70, 15, 29, 59. Envoy LCDC 2023, ramp 27. Taxi via HYY short of K. Steering. Check. Fan pack belt. Check. I-7 right. Check. Power deck. Check. Ushers, please prepare the church for departure. Starting propelleration. And we're clear for takeoff thrust. 80 knots. 80 knots. 90 knots. 90 knots. B1 Romeo rotate. Rotate. 110. 110. And we're up. Wow, First Officer Matt, can you believe this flight, La Casa de Cristo Airlines, has been running almost 50 years? 50 years. Unbelievable, Captain. You know, we've been fortunate to lead that for a portion of that time. God is so good. God is good. We are certainly blessed here, aren't we? And the best is yet to come. Hey, Captain Pastor Jeff. Do you think that there will ever be invisible airplanes? Do I ever think there'll be invisible airplanes? No, I just can't see them taking off. <laughs> this is your captain speaking, Pastor Jeff Ruby. I'd like to welcome you on board LCDC Flight 2023. I'm here alongside my first officer, Pastor Matt Knopf. The two of us would like to thank you for flying LCDC Airlines. We're anticipating a smooth flight today. We're going to be taking you on a trip around the church where you'll get an incredible 30,000 foot view of all that we have going on here. Thanks to you, this church does some amazing ministries. Today we're celebrating that we're one church family with many ministries. I'm going to have my first officer share a bit more. Good morning, everyone. As the captain said, we have some amazing ministries to show you today. We just wanted to take the chance and highlight the incredible things that this church does. So we'll be flying over some of our ministries. I'm sure that there will be a lot of them that you already recognize, but maybe there'll be some new ones for you as well. If this is your first time flying with us, we want to give you a very special welcome. And it needs to be acknowledged that everything you see today is not our own doing, but is fully a gift of the Holy Spirit. God has been guiding and directing this church for nearly 50 years. God over and over again blesses us with goodness. We are just fortunate to be able to, part, to be a part of what God is up to. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Hey, Captain, do you know why the airplane got sent to his room? The airplane got sent to his room, maybe bad altitude? All right, Captain. Well, where should we take them to first? Well, we have so many ministries, we can't possibly cover everyone, but I know our flight plan today will give us a great view of most of them. Let's start with a flyover of some of the things that happened this past summer. We had Royal Family Kids Camp, our high school summer trip. We had Junior High Confirmation Camp, Vacation Bible Experience, our annual Mexico mission trip. We had adult Bible studies. By the way, First Officer Matt, do you know what the football player said? Said to the flight attendant, put me in coach. <laughs> Captain Jeff, you are right. Camps, trips, retreats, they're such a great way to spend our summers. People to get to know each other at wonderful levels. I heard another great trip is coming up soon. Next month in October, our music directors, Jennifer Sheldon and Dr. Jeremy Peterman, are leading a musical tour through Europe. Hey, Captain. What do you call it when a giraffe swallows a toy jet? A giraffe swallows a toy jet. Well, that's a plane in the neck. 
Yes, the musical tour through Europe sounds incredible. And aren't you leading a Bible trip to Israel and Jordan next year? That's right, a Bible study tour to the Holy Land. Trips like these help deepen our faith as we live in community together. Do you know who invented the first airplane that wouldn't fly? The first airplane that wouldn't fly? That would have been the Wrong Brothers. You know, it's great to travel, but we also have opportunities to do global service right here at home, like through our missionary support. Do you know that La Casa de Cristo sponsors a family serving in Southeast Asia? Many people in this congregation support them financially and prayerfully. There's also Feed My Starving Children. We pack meals right here at La Casa. In fact, another food packing event is coming up in December. We pack thousands of nutritious meals that go to starving children throughout the world. You know, First Officer Matt, I have a new idea for an airplane, but I'm just not sure if it's going to fly. Oh, I don't know about that one, Captain Jeff. You know what happens to a bad airplane joke? It never lands. Let's take a flyover of all the service opportunities that help people right here in our own community. First Officer Matt, do you know why development in airplane engineering is so slow? Hmm, probably because everyone is afraid to make a groundbreaking design. Oh, Captain Jeff. Whoa, look, look over there. There's a great ministry. It's, it's the Angel Tree Ministry. Ah, yes, Angel Tree. Every year we buy Christmas presents for the families of our sister congregation, La Sagrada Familia. That's always a blessing. And there's the Royal Family Kids Mentor Club. It's great to know that it's not just a summer camp, but support for Arizona foster kids continues year-round with the Royal Family Mentor Club. Oh, Captain Pastor Jeff, look over there. It's Bridge to Hope. Talk about a dedicated group of people seeking to support and encourage single mothers, helping them get off the streets and into their own places. Bridge to Hope is a generous group. Yes, and we host their annual gathering and give them support year-round. You know, yesterday I saw a police officer wearing a pilot's uniform. I thought it was a bit odd. Then I realized it was one of those plain clothes officers. Ah, yes. Well, I don't know if you heard about this first officer, Matt, but did you hear about the TV show that was all about the airplane? Hmm. It never took off. The pilot wasn't very good. <laughs> you know, another group that's very generous, Captain Jeff. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Food from the heart. This group makes loving meals for people facing special circumstances in life, like illnesses or life transitions or otherwise. Their meals are definitely cooked with prayer and love. Yes, and that's just like the people in our congregation who serve downtown at St. Vincent de Paul. This group goes down every month to serve meals to those who are living on the streets in downtown Phoenix. You may have seen them around on Sundays with their blue aprons on getting ready to go serve. Oh, Captain Jeff, do you want some chocolate? Uh, does the chocolate have nuts? No, it's plain chocolate. Ah. Oh. Captain Jeff, look over there. It looks like a school. Yeah, that's Campobello and Palomino. We have several volunteers that serve at that school for many years. They help with clothing projects there and with the literacy program. Great people and great ministry. Oh, and look over there. It's the people who help with the Easter basket ministry. It really does take the whole church all together to put together those Easter baskets. They end up in care homes and many wonderful places. A great ministry. You know, I used to fly for a different airline, and they lost my luggage. I tried to sue them, but in the end, I lost my case. Yeah, you know we should fly over our Stephen Ministries. They are great listeners, our Stephen Ministers. They meet with people and pray with them when they're struggling and in special times. Oh yes, support for each other on this flight is fantastic. 
That reminds me of other support groups like the cancer support group and the grief support group. Yes, our health and wellness ministries are not to be missed. We have to fly over our blood drives, our divorce care, ostomy support, duet, heart to heart, and kindred spirits groups, and many others. You know, first off, Sir Matt, before this job with La Casa Airlines, I flew helicopters, but that job really had its ups and downs. Captain Jeff, did you know that it was a Frenchman that came up with the word for helicopter? Yeah. One day he said, hey, look up there. All right. I guess we'll keep our day jobs. All right. <laughs> Captain Jeff, to, to cover all the ministries that we have going on here, this is going to be a very long flight. There's Naomi's Daughters, Memorial Ministry, the Veterans Ministry, G Groups, Moms Groups, Women's Bible Studies, Men's Groups, the Men's Hikes, and so much more. You're right, First Officer. We couldn't possibly see it all, but let's at least focus on some of the ministries that help our worship flight keep running. You know, people like the ushers, our worship readers, and the choir. Absolutely. One of the beautiful things about our tradition is the desire to have many people involved in worship. Our songs and our liturgy invite the people into worship. Anyone can serve as an usher or read the scriptures during worship. Hey, Captain Jeff, do you want to hear an airplane joke? No, thanks. I find them really boring. <laughs> But yes, where would we be without our in-flight musicians? Our choir, our children's choir, our bells choir, special musicians, they help keep this flight running smooth. People can turn into these musical selections at any time through our LCDC app or our online channels, all a part of our online ministries and in-flight entertainment. But it's so much more than entertainment because we're glorifying God. You are right. The music here is more than entertainment. It invites us into worship and adoration adoration of God. Wow! Service opportunities, worship opportunities, these are all great. And you know, we also have amazing educational opportunities. Our adult education department offers flight classes year-round, and those classes are a great way to strengthen our faith. There are new ones starting up right now. That's right, I'm starting one on Wednesday night and we're starting our dinners again. And that reminds me, I have to stop in the ticket counter out there to see what class I'm gonna sign up for as well. I heard you can sign up for new classes today. That's right. Oh, Captain Pastor Jeff, what's down there? It looks like a bunch of couples together. That's the married people ministry. They get together for fun couples nights and date nights to support strong marriages. There's so much going on here at La Casa de Cristo. So much, Pastor Jeff. Hey, Captain Pastor Jeff, do you think that they had airplanes in biblical times? Well, of course they had airplanes in biblical times. Jesus went before Pontius Pilate. You know, I was over at the preschool the other day, and they're having another great start to their school year. Our preschool is awesome. Speaking of young ones, we've got to be sure to fly over our children's and youth programs, too. First Officer Matt, do you know what happens if you wear a wristwatch on the plane? Time flies. There you go. Captain Jeff, have you been in the kids room or the junior high room or the high school room lately? They have some amazing things going on over there. You know, First Officer, I bet there's many on our flight today that have not been in those rooms recently. Regardless of age, we hope you'll take a few minutes this morning, give everyone the chance to cruise over to those rooms because they're really a very special part of our church and it's always important to support our youth. Absolutely. That's a great idea, Captain Jeff. After we land today, could we invite everyone over there to an open house of our youth rooms and our children's rooms and even our nursery so that people can see what's going on on the rest of our campus? Great idea. Why don't you go fill them in? Hello again, everyone. This is First Officer Pastor Matinoff. We want to thank you for flying with us today on LCDC Airlines. We hope that you have been enjoying the scenery of all the wonderful ministries that this flight has to offer. We would like to share a special offer with you today on flight. No, it's not a credit card. It is the opportunity to see some areas of the airport that maybe you don't usually see. We would like to start by inviting you to take a stroll through our nursery. Now I know that some of you are well beyond the time of having to bring a child into the nursery. 
But did you know that we have the cleanest, nicest, safest nursery around? Our nursery staff is absolutely the best, and our facilities are fantastic. If you have not been in the nursery in a while, I'd like to invite you to stroll through there and celebrate our wonderful nursery ministry. They are an important first face of our church. And then I would like you to travel down, down the runway, where you will find more information about many of the ministries that we flew over today, plus many more. Try to find a ministry that you are unfamiliar with and learn something new. The purpose of this is that you would be able to get plugged in and get connected to a ministry that is meaningful to you. After that, be sure to visit our children's room and the youth room. They have had incredible makeovers since you have last been in them, and it's time that you see them. Whether you have kids or not, be sure to pop into these open houses today and support these ministries. If nothing else, you'll simply want to see their space. It's amazing. Our own church members have worked hard to transform these spaces into great places for our kids and our youth. That's right, everyone. This is your captain again, and I highly encourage you to take advantage of the opportunity to visit these open houses this morning and see all these spaces. The children's room and the youth rooms may not be something you see every day if you're not a child or youth yourself or have them in your family, but they're a very special part of our church, and we welcome you to see what's going on. We're going to be coming in for a landing soon, but before we go, we want to share with you the most important thing. Everything that you see on today's flight is all thanks to God. The Lord is the reason that we gather in this place. Our desire is our mission statement, to love those who don't know Jesus Christ and grow those who do. That's why all of these ministries take place. That's right. We follow Christ. Jesus is the reason that we gather. Jesus is the reason that we keep this airport running every day of the year even on holidays like Christmas and Easter. Or should I say, especially on holidays like Christmas and Easter. But we have a duty and an obligation to keep this place running year round, every day, all in the name of Jesus, so that his name can continue to be glorified in our community. It's the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ that keeps this flight going. We've been running this flight for nearly 50 years here, but our airline of Christianity has been flying for over 2,000 years. It's our humble pleasure to be a small part of God's work. And the best is yet to come. This has been Captain Pastor Jeff and First Officer Pastor Matt coming to you from the pulpit, I mean cockpit, and we look forward to many more years of flying adventures with you and the Lord. Captain Jeff and I would like to share some more airplane jokes with you all, but we think they might go over your head. <laughs> so instead, I will just say, thanks be to God and amen. Surely that's all, right, Captain Jeff? That's all, but please don't call me Shirley. <laughs> You'll receive some more instructions at the end of our service today on our special morning. And at this time, we continue with our morning offering. We thank those of you who give your tithes and offerings to the church electronically. We also pass the plate in church for those that desire to give that way. And we share in a musical offering as well.
Please pray with me. Almighty God, as we gather this morning, we celebrate the fact that we are one body with many parts. We celebrate the gift of La Casa de Cristo and that we are centered and focused in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. As we gather today and we celebrate this special Get Connected Sunday, we are also reminded of all the ways in which you bless us and guide us into the future. We also at this time recognize there are some parts of our body that especially are in need of your prayer. So we pray for those who are recuperating at home. We pray for Wayne Wilkie, for Carol Lake, for Mike Sales, for John Barber, for Carol Hallstrom, for Helen Hoffman, Tim Doonan, Brenda Rodenberger, and Ray Bell. We also lift up to you these individuals that are known to you by name and that are on a journey with cancer. Wherever they are at in that journey, bless and guide them, heal them. Carol, Ariane, Mike, Dana, Rosie, and Sherry, Linda, Al, Teresa, and Matt, Jay, Donna, Tina, Myron, Lynn, Steve, and Sue, Doris, Chad, and Roger, Corey, Dave, Richard, Linda, Roger, Tina, Karen, Paul, Lisa, and Char, Mike, Larry, Debbie, Vern, Sue, Paul, Sheila, Nancy, Dean, Brad, and Sharon. We lift up to you also those who are in hospice care, that your light would surround them for Marcy Hans, Ann Smith, Donna Lagerquest, Donna Wheeldryer. And Lord, for those in our community of faith that have claimed the Easter promise for their loved ones, Tony and Gina Coletta and the death of his father, Max, and AJ and Chase, their grandfather. For Gordon Schmeiser and the death of his wife, Shirley, Holly Harter, her mother, and Chris Tanzi, his grandmother, that you would surround them with your peace at this time. And God, as we come before you today, we are grateful to be a part of this community and part of the apostolic body of Christ. And we pray the prayer that you taught us, our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us Good morning, everyone. First Officer Pastor Matt here with you once again. Your flight is about to take off for a grand tour around the ministries of La Casa de Cristo. Before going straight to your car, 
we invite you to please check out the numerous activities that we have planned for you around the airport today. Please follow these safety instructions to ensure a smooth flight. When you depart this area, you will see our ground crew outside with these orange directional indicators. They are going to point you in a particular direction so that you will be able to get to your airplane efficiently. Your first stop will be with the LSA, the La Casa Security Administration. Our young and talented security workers will ensure that everyone is safe before boarding your flight. Next, head down the runway and take off to get a 10,000 foot view of the many ministries that you and your church have to offer. And don't forget to visit the children's and youth building, both downstairs and upstairs. There's an elevator for anyone who needs it. Downstairs, you will find plenty of activities for you to do while you wait for your flight. And upstairs, you will find the VIP lounge where everyone is welcome. Be sure to bring your La Casa de Cristo passport with you so that you can get a stamp for each one of the areas that you visit. And then at the end, bring it to the blue flag and be entered into a raffle for you and a friend. Thank you again for flying LCDC Airlines as we all get and stay connected. Depart in peace as you are directed by our ushers and ground crew. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Please stand for our closing hymn.